Okay, seventh grade, I excel. We have B5 is the code on the on the plan, and we have quantities that combine to zero. Word problems, 7SP is the quick code. So it says, in which story is the answer to the question zero? Interesting. Interesting. So now we have to look at a couple of stories and figure out which answer is zero. So Toby and his friend Lila are in a jump rope competition. Each person gains a point every time they jump over the rope and, lo and loses a point every time their competitor jumps over the rope. Lila ended with a score of negative 24. Toby ended with a score of 24. How much higher was Toby's score than Lila's score? So if Toby ended at 24 and Lila ended at negative 24, well, let me see if I can draw a little picture, see if it lets me do that. Okay, I want to show you real quick on a number line. So let me draw. Okay, yeah. Okay, so if this is zero, this is really, really, really crooked. But if this is zero, and if Toby is up here at 24, and Lila is down here at negative 24, okay, how much higher is Toby's score? Well, Toby's score is this would be just to get to zero, just to get to zero, we're talking 24, right? And then to get up to Toby's score, it's another 24. So Lila is really 48 away. So that is, that doesn't end with a, sc a score of zero, right? So I'm guessing it has to be this one. So let's figure out why. It says Toby and his friend Lila are in jump rope competition. Every time person gets a point, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so Lila ended with negative 24. Toby ended with a score of 24 points higher. Yeah, so if... If Toby is 24 points higher, then you would just cancel them out to zero, right? So it would be that. Okay, and it looks like that all there's no levels. If you look here, normally as a teacher, I can jump up a level. That means all the questions are of the same difficulty. So I'm going to do three of them here, and we can figure out. If, if you're confused, try drawing a picture like I did using a number line. That will help. So it says, in January, Adele's family moved from Fargo, North Dakota, to Augusta, Maine. The lowest temperature recorded in Fargo was negative 8. So again, if you want to make a really crooked number line like I did, like that. So negative 8, let's just put negative 8. We don't need to put the tick marks because we don't know if we need them or not. In Augusta, the lowest temperature was 8. So this is Augusta, 8. So this is Augusta, this is Fargo, right? So how much warmer was the lowest temperature in Augusta than the lowest temperature in Fargo? So if it says how much warmer, that means that you're looking for the distance. You're looking for the difference, okay? So you can think of it as eight, think of it as eight, minus minus 8. Well, 8 minus minus 8 is where we get our 16. And remember, the distance between here is 8, and the distance between here is 8, which is why we get 8 plus 8, or 16. So we know it's not this one. It has to be this one. Okay, and let's do one more. It says, a beluga whale... He was swimming underwater at an elevation of negative 40. So on your number line, if this is 0, negative 40, let's just put it down here, negative 40. Okay? The whale spotted a herring and swam 40 feet higher in elevation to catch it. So the whale's down here, and it goes up to 40, which puts it at 0, right? At what elevation is the whale now? We just said, right? If it's at negative 40 and it goes up 40 to catch it, negative 40 plus 40 is zero. So this is going to be our answer. And you can think of it as negative 40 plus because he swam, swims up 40 and negative 40 plus 40 is zero. 
So let's go ahead and click that and hit submit. 